Here are a few headlines that come from Natural News. FDA, FTC asked to stop Coca-Cola and Pepsi from falsely advertising unhealthy diet soda. How is it that a product that can make people gain weight is allowed to be labeled as diet? Doesn't that word imply that it aids in shedding pounds and is something that those hoping to lose or maintain weight should gravitate towards? Coca-Cola and Pepsi's advertising and overall branding is misleading. Moving along, Pepsi forks over $9 million settlement and agrees to stop calling Naked Juice natural. The case known as Natalie Papa's versus Naked Juice Company of Glendora took particular issue with the added ingredients in Naked Juice, like zinc oxide, ascorbic acid, and calcium panothenate, the latter of which is made from formaldehyde, a carcinogenic compound. These and other questionable ingredients, claim Papa's and others, hardly represent the freshest, purest stuff in the world, a marketing catchphrase widely used in connection with Naked Juice products. Besides this, Papa's also accused Pepsi of deceptively using genetically modified organisms in Naked Juice products, despite the fact they are all labeled as not containing GMOs. Pepsi knew that their protein beverages contained GMOs, but intentionally duped consumers into believing the drinks were GMO-free. Pepsi also misled consumers into believing that some of the beverage's fiber content is due to the all-natural 100% juice, rather than the latest advances in synthetic fibers, such as Fibrosol 2, a proprietary synthetic digestion-resistant fiber. Not to mention that, from way back in 2007, Pepsi admits Aquafina comes from tap water. Tap water! Comes right out of the spigot! <laughs> then under the heading of outright poisoning, we find these other headlines. Coke and Pepsi replacing toxic brominated vegetable oil, also known as BVO, with another chemical, sucrose acetate isobutrate, SAIB. Yum, yum, yum. All bromines are endocrine disruptors, just like fluoride and chlorine. They also interfere with iodine absorption by the thyroid, the breast tissue, and prostate tissue, causing nutritional deficiencies, which can promote cancer. While the net is loudly applauding the removal of BVO in these beverages, almost no one seems to be aware of what they're replacing it with. Sucrose acetate isobutrate. Yummy! Here's what they're also adding. So now that they're turning to sucrose acetate isobutrate, a chemical we'd all hope would be safer than BVO, but a study published in Food and Chemical Toxicology found that dogs fed this chemical showed enlarged livers, an altered liver enzyme function. All right, here's another. Pepsi still contains cancer-causing ingredient. A third-party watchdog group, the Center for Environmental Health, found dangerous levels of a carcinogen in the caramel coloring of Coke and Pepsi products. When animal studies showed clear evidence that the 4-MEI was a toxic carcinogen, the National Toxicology Program threw up red flags. And apart from consuming the cancer-causing 4-MEI, Americans are also ingesting Pepsi's cocktail of phosphoric acid and HFCS. Phosphoric acid effectively creates a high acidity level inside the body, forcing the body to pull calcium and other minerals from the natural reserves in the bones, which leads to lower bone density. Alongside that, soda pop contains high fructose corn syrup. Derived from genetically modified corn, HFCS is 80% fructose, which is rapidly converted to fat by the liver, leading to an excess concentration of fats and lipoproteins in the body, causing a rise in triglyceride levels. HFCS promotes a wide array of health problems, including arteriosclerosis, diabetes, elevated cardiovascular risk, and more. Then, Pepsi to begin using unlabeled sweetness-enhancing mystery ingredients developed by aborted fetal cells company. Are these new Senomix flavor chemicals really safe? According to a 2011 article published by CBS News Money Watch, 
Seno mixes proprietary flavor chemicals are actually a type of GMO. Well, since laboratory scientists develop them by injecting the genetic sequences of the four known taste receptors into cell cultures, some of which come from aborted fetal cell lines, the end product is nothing more than a biotech creation that cannot be found in nature. Moving along, Pepsi's next generation, less sugar, more toxins. On March 26, 2012, Pepsi introduced their latest in a long line of soft drinks aimed at the health-conscious consumer. They say Pepsi Next is crafted from the right mix of cola flavor and a blend of sweeteners to closely mimic the taste curve of a regular cola. The marketing drawl is 60% less sugar. While less sugar is certainly a desirable feature, it was not mentioned is the fact that in the absence of the usual bucket full of sugar, in this case, high fructose corn syrup, the ingredients to attain that trademark Pepsi icky sweetness need to come from somewhere. In this case, not only does aspartame fill the bill, but sucralose and acesulfame potassium do as well. Now we have a beverage on the market with not one, not two, not three, but four dangerous sweeteners. HFCS, aspartame, sucralose, and esulfame potassium. Another thing the marketers fail to mention is the whopping 60 milligrams of sodium compared to 40 milligrams in Pepsi throwback and 30 milligrams in regular Pepsi. The real irony is that the top ingredient list actually lists the product as containing low sodium. Leave it to Pepsi to introduce a product with not only twice the sodium, but HFCS, aspartame, and sucralose, and actually have the gall to market it to health-conscious consumers. Under the general heading of just simply disgusting, or maybe the elite genocide agenda, we have these two headlines. Bush administration pressures India to reinstate Coke Pepsi sales regardless of pesticide content. Back in 2006, the drinks had been banned in many Indian states for high pesticide content. They were found to have 24 times the accepted levels. And here again, India threatened by business interests. Sell Coke and Pepsi or your economy will suffer. Again, 2006. I guess this means drink up or we'll ruin your economy. Just wanted to give you a little heads up on our good old Pepsi-Cola company.